Alright, so at this point, I genuinely think Jay Station is just on a whole nother level of being an absolute scum of the internet. Now, don't get me wrong, he isn't making the content that he used to make, which is very, very good. Now, for those of you that don't know, Jay Station is a YouTuber who used to upload videos like Calling Etika at 3am, Calling XXXTentacion at 3am, and, and all, all sorts of completely disrespectful videos. And a lot of you might have looked at the title of this video and are probably thinking that Jay Station really couldn't get any worse after that. But it turns out he has. He's gotten much worse. For those of you that don't know the timeline, I'll give you a quick rundown. But before that, if you guys want to see extra content from me, make sure you subscribe to my second channel, Glider Guide 2. We have a great time over there, so it'd be great to see a few familiar faces over there on that channel. Link at the top of the description, make sure you click that and subscribe to that channel. But back onto Jay Station, so about three or four years ago, like I mentioned earlier, Jay Station could be caught on his main channel, I'm Jay Station, making various videos such as calling certain celebrities who basically just passed away in the last 24 hours at 3am for basically money and fame. Just doing completely disrespectful and downright terrible videos. And we all know that his true intentions were only to just capitalize and make money off it, which, which, which was basically the worst part. Now, after all of this happened, Jay Station basically rightfully so got called out by a bunch of YouTubers and had basically a ton of exposed videos made, all, made on him from a whole bunch of different directions. But for some reason, this guy had literally no remorse and decided to keep making these awful videos on people who had literally just passed away for money and views. And this all went on for about two years or so until this guy made possibly one of the worst de decisions of his entire career. And that decision is that Jay Station faked his own girlfriend's death for views. I'm not even joking. This guy literally decided that it would be a good idea to make a video where he apparently, apparently his girlfriend got into a car crash and basically faked the fact that she died to his fan base full of millions of kids, which is completely messed up on so many different levels. Like, like faking someone's death just on its own is terrible. But the fact that you've done it to a bunch of 10 year olds who probably watch your channel on the daily and, and basically see this girl in, in basically all your videos, that's just insanely disrespectful and insane insanely stupid to do. I mean, like I just said, this guy's fan base is full of what? 6 million subscribers, which are mostly full of people under the age of 10? Because no sane human being that I've ever seen watch Jay Station videos unironically is over the age of 10. So you can understand that immediately after this happening, basically everyone was making videos on him, calling him out again for what he did. Now the thing about people calling out Jay Station this time around is that Jay Station actually changed from this, apparently. Well, no, to, be, to be honest, not really. Basically what happened is, is that YouTube had to step in themselves this time and basically what they did is they removed his monetization from his channel completely. Which, to be completely honest with you, he kind of deserved that. And I'm surprised it really didn't happen sooner. Now, since then, Jay Station has moved on to different types of content on, on basically different channels to avoid this restriction. And has basically been monetized for about a year or so now. He's been sort of laying low over the last year, basically staying away from controversy and drama. And to be honest, it, it, it really does seem like he's been changing as a person. At least that's what we thought until what I'm about to talk about today. It turns out that over the last few weeks, Jay Station has been completely terminated from all of his channels, which is a pretty big shock to be honest with you. Meaning basically that it's set in stone that he's no longer going to be able to make YouTube videos. He's completely gone from the platform and there is no chance of him coming back. It doesn't matter what he does, like, like there is literally no way YouTube are going to let him on the platform again. Now the reason for this is to be honest, very, very unclear, but I'm basically Jay Session tweeted out a bunch of stuff in response to this termination. At Team YouTube, I believe my YouTube channel has been suspended in error because I was the, because uh, I was not circumventing my ban from my 6 million subscriber channel I'm Jay Station. You have made a statement to Tube Filter at Team YouTube and the former couple's joint channel Dream Team has been wiped safe from one of the videos either has not incurred de demonetization according to YouTube. My 666 channel did not violate TOS. This is why the channel was falsely terminated. To be honest, I don't really know the logistics of all of this. This isn't really the main topic of what I'm going to be talking about today, but this is very relevant because Jay Station did actually get terminated from all of YouTube, which is quite insane to be completely honest. Like I, I knew it was probably going to happen eventually because he's such a controversial figure. Like, no one really agrees with this guy. He's literally probably one of the most scummy people on the internet. And the fact that he's been terminated to complete, to be completely honest with you, is kind of insane, but also sort of like, I mean, it did have a coming to him. Let's be completely honest. He's done so much stuff that's just completely immorally wrong in the past that, that, that surely it had to come someday. But then basically Jay Station decided to tweet this out. I'm going to sue them. Crazy. Anyways, I'm done. Nothing I can do now. Okay, I gotta stop you right there. Jay Station, there is so much wrong with this tweet. So firstly, you go off and say that I'm going to sue them. By them, I'm pretty sure you're meaning that you're going to try and sue YouTube, which, mate, good luck with that one. Couldn't imagine someone trying to sue YouTube. Like, jeez, mate. Like, you're, you're really mad about this one, aren't you? Really trying to sue YouTube? How are you going to sue a company that is literally the biggest video sharing platform on YouTube? Mate, you have 3,000 followers on Twitter. You're not going to do much. I'm not going to lie here. You can get any legal team you want. There is no chance you're going to take down YouTube and sue them. But the thing is, in this 
tweet, you literally say, anyways, I'm done. So you said that you're going to sue them and then you said that there's nothing you can do. That, that, that just completely contradicts yourself. Going to be honest, mate, you're not going to sue YouTube. It's not like there's 50 other YouTubers doing the same thing, making 3am videos that I was doing with no problems. But still, I switch my content and make reaction videos after they said, after they said my second channel was fine and they still banned it. I'm not going to lie, mate. Are uh, your videos out of those 50 YouTubers who you were talking about were making 3am videos? I'm pretty sure yours were basically the worst of the worst. You went literally above and beyond. You faked your girlfriend's death. That, that, that is something that you just can't come back from. You can't just make a quick apology video where you fake cry and then just, and then think you're just going to get away with it without getting any sort of repercussions from YouTube. You full well deserve that, mate. I'm not even going to lie. Then Jay Station tweeted out, hey, at fair YouTube, can you help me out or point me in a good lawyer to sue YouTube? Mate, you can hire the most top tier professional lawyer in the world. You, you can get, you can pay him the most salary you possibly can, but there is no way that if you get one lawyer and you put him in court that you're going to be able to sue a company like YouTube or just a company in general, to be honest. You're not suing YouTube, mate, and there is no chance. Like, the, 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 the thing is, right, in YouTube's TOS, they literally say that, that they can terminate a channel if they want to, and you, like, you literally agreed when you signed up to a YouTube channel for them to do that. How are you going to sue them if you literally agree to having your channel terminated? Like, like you, you literally agree to, like, to the fact that your channel could be terminated one day. I don't understand. It's literally YouTube's platform. Why are you complaining about you getting terminated, saying you're going to sue them? You just, you can't sue them, mate. Like, what are you doing? YouTube's the worst platform ever. Okay, then, mate. Full of child are the, the, those words. Banning a kid's reaction channel. Can't believe it. Anyway, guys, I'll let you know what happens when I sue them. You're not gonna sue them, mate, but I'm not coming back. Uh, but yeah, I'm not coming back. I have some nice ideas for money for a while. Thanks for everything. Gonna be honest, mate, uh, y y y you're saying that you're gonna sue them. I highly doubt that that's ever gonna happen. You, that, there is no way that that is getting past anyone. Imagine going to a court and being like, yes, I would like to sue YouTube. <laughs> like, I, I'm pretty sure the judge would just laugh in your face and send you out the room because you're li literally like suing YouTube. Okay, then. That is very, very funny, mate. I'm not even gonna lie here. Now, basically, after all this happened and after Jay Station went on a Twitter meltdown, he basically, uh, he decided for whatever reason to go after the one and only Keemstar. Now, I'm not too sure exactly why he did this, and but, but basically, the way he went about this was absolutely insane and just pathetic and just unacceptable. And this is where Jay Station literally loses all of his credibility. Like, like saying, saying that he's gonna sue YouTube is stupid enough, but what he does to Keemstar is absolutely just bizarre. Basically, Keemstar tweeted this out the other day, and it basically says this. Jay Station tweeted out my full docs, probably the most scummy thing you can do. I mean, I don't care. All my personal info is already public, but but still. In general, a scummy thing to do. And basically, Jay Station tweeted out saying, controversial at Keemstar lives at, and he basically puts his address publicly in a tweet. Bin fun, bro, you're next. Absolutely disgusting. This guy is genuinely the scum of the internet. I, I don't think I've been more mad at a content creator doing something like this. This has probably got to be one of the scummiest things I've ever seen on the internet. Vegan teacher slandering me, you know what, go on, I don't really care. J Jake Paul doing all this sort of stuff, you know what, whatever. But Jay Station tweeting out Keemstar's full address publicly on Twitter when he, he, he knows that he has a massive fan base of people who will literally just, just, just take his word no matter what. Absolutely disgusting. Like, what was going through your head when you decided to tweet out Keemstar's full address? And like Keemstar said, he said that he doesn't care because all of his personal info was already public. But just still, in general, like, like you have such a massive platform, Jay Station, and you've tweeted out someone's address who is a public figure with 5 million subscribers on YouTube. What goes through your head, mate? Just when we thought this guy was going to change for the better and like he, he said he was going to delete all his videos and change from his 3am videos. No, nah, this is worse than your stupid 3am videos, mate. You've tweeted out, you've doxed a famous YouTuber like publicly on Twitter. What was going through your head? Jesus Christ, this guy is genuinely insane. Like what? Like how can a sane human being look at this situation and lo logically think, you know, oh yeah, I'm just gonna dox this person. Yeah, yeah, absolutely hilarious. Yeah, funny joke, Jay Station. Imagine trying to ruin someone's life just because just you got beef with them. Absolute, like, absolute nub. I don't think I can ever forgive Jay Station for this. Just absolutely disgraceful. I can't believe that, like, he'd actually go ahead and do something like this. As someone who's been a victim of people doxing me before, th this just genuinely annoys me. Like, it, th like, he's not even doxing me. This has got nothing to do with me. And this is is already just genuinely annoying me. You can't just go around tweeting out people's doxes like it's nothing, Jay Station. Like, absolute, like, scum. But anyway, basically, after this, uh, Jay Station tweeted out some final response. I don't know. He basically tweeted out saying my, my last words or whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna play the video now. Absolute nub. 
I just want to say thank you to every one of my fans who supported me through everything that's ever happened. Uh, I really appreciate you so much. And to the haters, like, I, I really don't know what you're celebrating for because the fact of how random this really was. I wasn't um, demonetized because I faked someone's death. You know, Mick Juggernuggets faked his dad's death live on YouTube, bro. Everybody thought it was real. The police had thousands of people call the police station. There's been YouTubers faking their death that they died of cancer. They're good. It's not that. It's because my ex-girlfriend went to the police and made a false report that uh, I assaulted her. It's then where YouTube demonetized my account. That's why. But they chose to leave my 666 channel monetized at the time where they demonetized my MJ station. And they acknowledge that in the tube filter article if you look it up. So me making a whole year's worth of videos on my 666 channel and just now that it now all of a sudden they completely delete both of them seems incredibly random just doesn't make sense at all i wasn't circumventing uh, circumventing their demonetization they even said no we left his second channel monetized they knew i had this channel i was talking to youtube chat um about problems on the channel it was all good just randomly now I completely even changed all my content. I don't even make what people enjoyed me making before. I completely made stuff that's new. It's crazy. But good news is, guys, I guess they just don't want to see my face. So I'm going to have a channel on YouTube. It's going to be big, but I can't tell anybody, and it's not going to have my face. I love you guys. I'll remember you always. Peace. And yeah, after this, I think Jay Station's basically done out. Um, I'm I'm done talking about him. I genuinely can't be bothered at this point. He's genuinely just, he, he's shown his true colors. Like, doxing Keemstar, are you serious? I'm going to be the first to say that I'm not the biggest fan of Keemstar. I, I, I've criticized him in the past, but I don't care. Like, you just, you don't just dox someone. Mate, I'd literally say the same thing right now if you were to dox vegan teacher. Like, just doxing anyone in general is just a scummy thing to do. I don't care who it is. I don't care how bad they are. Jake Paul, vegan teacher, like, whatever. Just don't dox people. It's so scummy. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for watching the video. I'm going to end that there. I'm done talking about JayStation app. Just, I can't be bothered anymore. Thank you all for watching the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and also my second channel, Glider Guy 2. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.